hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to learn about uh, how to perform any connect client version upgrade on an head-end device so you might you will have your uh, Cisco firepower at the head-end uh, you will need to perform uh, the any connect client version upgrade whenever you wanted to perform on the endpoint side so in this video we are going to learn about how to perform the head and upgrade if you are watching my channel very first time please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that uh, any new videos that i will post in the future it will get notified as a suggestion for you as the ftds are managed by firepower management center log into firepower management center and go to objects under objects select vpn in your left side panel so which where you will get an option to upload the AnyConnect uh, new version file. Choose AnyConnect file. From there, you can create Add AnyConnect file option. Just name it as you want and select the file that you have already downloaded from Cisco website. So here in this example, uh, I am upgrading client from 4.9 to 4.10. Henceforth, I'm, I'm just naming it as uh, uh, Windows client new and uh, selecting the file from the saved location right you can put a description or uh, uh, based on your need but here I'm just saving it as it is so likewise you might want to uh, perform the similar step for your uh, Mac and Linux machines also so in in my environment I have uh, um, Windows clients as well as Mac clients so to suffice for both type of operating system I'm performing this upgrade um, as in one single upgrade steps meaning uh, I'm up, uh, uploading both uh, operating system uh, uh, version which is 4.10 and saving it uh, here so this will make sure to upload the any connect file that I have downloaded from Cisco website and it is now uploading it to the FMC so as a next step uh, click on the devices under devices remote management access remote access VPN under remote access VPN click on the firewall which you wanted to uh, perform uh, the change I mean uh, mapping the any connect file so here I'm selected one of the firewall available in my um, network and clicked on advanced under advanced selecting the images which I have uploaded in the previous step so this in this way you will you will be making sure you are pointing the file uh, right file for the firewall so similar way I have four different firewalls are available so um, as like I what I did in the previous step I have to log into I mean click on each firewall and uh, go to advanced under advanced you have to select the file which you have uploaded so in this way you will be making sure to ma um, match or map the any connect uh, client software for your firewalls so not just that as an app um, uh, completed the action item after you have done this you will have to commit or I mean push all the policies which you have uh, performed so far so if not if you haven't done this uh, completely then the configuration will not make effect meaning after you perform all this uh, firewall um, side mappings you have to deploy the configuration so this is the last firewall I am doing that mapping once I have done this I have to um, go to the uh, deployment option and select the firewall which wherever I have made the change so I have done this uh, um, mapping of a new any connect client software on all the firewalls henceforth I have to deploy the uh, configuration to all the firewall so click on deploy option and selecting it selecting all the uh, FTD firewalls where I have performed the client mapping 
so deploy deploy the configuration now this will make sure to complete it on its own time so this is the simplest and easiest step to achieve any connect client version upgrade on head and side head and firewall i hope this video was useful for you if you have any questions please comment and thanks for watching this video Oh, <laughs>